Here's how Punch and Roll works in Audacity. As you can see, I grabbed a clip of audio from an earlier class that I'm going to work with. So, if we want to replace this part here, more fruit than you can shake a blender at, then we want to go ahead and click right here. So you can find by listening through your audio, or if you know where the mistake is, go ahead and find that and try and click in the silence. So one of the things we want to do is we'll come up here to Edit. We'll scroll all the way down to Preferences, or you can use Control P as a keyboard shortcut. Then we want to come to Recording here on the side, and our Punch and Roll recording. The preset is usually just five seconds, but you can bump it up to whatever you need. So eight seconds of pre-recorded sound before that point to be able to talk along with it and get the cadence and everything that you need. And then you can go ahead and click OK. Now once you start the punch and roll, anything after this cursor mark is going to be deleted. So you want to make sure it's right, and then we'll come up here to transport, recording, and then as soon as we click punch and roll record, it will go ahead and delete everything afterwards and start us eight seconds before. You can also do the keyboard shortcut shift plus D. So let's give it a shot. Did your mouth do the math? This, my friend, is very full bliss from your buds to your toes. Naked fruit juice. More fruit than you can shake a blender at. We'll stop that. We'll go ahead and run our little macro on it so that it kind of matches. Although, the mic I'm using now does not match the mic I was using then. So let's give it a listen. This, my friend, is very full bliss from your buds to your toes. Naked fruit juice. More fruit than you can shake a blender at. And as you can see, it worked just fine.